Well, it has been a minute since I have posted on the YouTube. So I'm coming in today with a life update. There's been so much that's been happening. Well, I still haven't even posted my birthday YouTube video, which I definitely need to get around to editing. But to start off, I'm moving again, which is so exciting. I'm literally moving into my dream apartment. Like the place that I'm moving into is the place that I would literally manifest last year when I was living in Brisbane. I would literally do visualization meditations, envision this apartment, envision myself living in there. And what do you know? Here I am moving in literally this Friday, which is so exciting, but it's coming up so fast. Like our lease at this place is still got another month and a bit on it. So we're moving in a bit early. We're gonna be paying like double rent, but it was honestly just like, we couldn't let this go. Like we had to just figure out a way to make this work because this apartment is my freaking dream. Oh, but I'm so excited. We've been living with roommates basically ever since we moved out of home. And this will be, this will be mine and Juan's first place where we actually get to live on our own, decorate everything our own way. And just like, yeah, live alone, which is gonna be so so weird the house is gonna be so quiet with just the two of us so it's gonna be really fun but yeah very like it's a new chapter for sure if you follow me over on instagram i was posting on my stories the other day about um how i've like manifested the life that i'm living right now because like if you've been around for a while you probably would have you would have seen how far i've come and how much i've grown in just like a year or like even two years if you go back and watch my old videos but i feel like manifestation has been such a huge part of it and i used to learn about manifestation like so many people talk about manifestation manifestation it just never used to make any sense to me i'm like well okay i'm i can say all these affirmations i can say i am a millionaire i am successful i own this i am that but there's so much more to the equation than just saying those things like you can't just say those things and just think you're gonna manifest your life right um i feel like i've just learned so many things about manifestation and i've actually been able to understand it and now consciously use it in my life so if you think about it you're literally manifesting every second like you've manifested the life you're living right now because all manifestation is is believing something believing something and knowing that it's going to happen and it will just come to you i think that's like very simplified that's a very simplified version of manifestation <laughs> it's a little bit more complex than that but that's just the easiest way to explain it i think i need to do a podcast episode on manifestation because i need to like write everything down but i feel like that could be a really really good podcast also i miss my podcast guys i stopped doing i only got to like five episodes of the podcast and then and just like I stopped giving my time to it and started focusing my time in other areas but I really miss it and I really want to get back into it I think I need to find like a podcast editor because that's the thing that's the part I hate is sitting down and editing like I just want to be on the whip on the go just recording a podcast and send it off to someone and that way it can go up nice and easy so I've got that in the works I've got a lot of things in the works especially with my business so I'm I'm a self-employed UGC creator I quit my nine to five in February this year and went full-time like cold turkey like I wasn't even barely doing UGC work beforehand I was barely making any money from it and I just decided to go full time in this and just go full speed um, And now it's like nine months later last month. I did my first 10k month like what? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that I could say I made $10,000 in a month. I never thought in my wildest dreams that that would actually happen, but it literally just happened, which is so exciting. I'm so grateful. Came at a good time because so now I can get all the furniture for this new place. I'm seriously just rambling on. Hey guys, like this is the perfect video if you're just sitting down doing your makeup, cooking, doing some mundane tasks because I am just rambling on. But my UGC business has been going really, really well. I've been able to work with so many exciting clients i am gonna be expanding it because i've got my e i've got my ugc ebook so i can teach a lot of like girls and i've just had so many people reach out to me and ask me to like mentor them like teach them everything but like i can't possibly work one-on-one -on -one with that many people unless like i was charging a ridiculous amount which i don't want to do so i'm trying to figure out ways of how i can help as many people while still making it affordable so i've been thinking of doing a ugc group coaching container that way we can have like a very small group so you're almost like one-on-one -on -one with me but you're in like a small group of other girls so that way you get to build yet to start being in a little bit of a community with other UGC creators, get to know other people and like get to do one-on-one -on -one question question answers with me and like have full access to me throughout the journey. So I'm thinking of making it like a six week, maybe four week or six week container where we basically get you set up from scratch and becoming a full-blown UGC creator, like locking in brands, 
knowing how to pitch to brands like the whole shebang so that's going to be in the works i've got a lot of things in the works to be honest a lot there's a lot there's my brain is always coming up with new ideas i'm literally always like oh my god i would love to do this i would love to do that but i can't possibly do it all right now it's just all things that will have to come in time i guess but i'm very excited i'm very excited for the next year and to see what happens because my gosh i could not have predicted 2023 to go like this i did not think i would be working for myself this year absolutely not i never want to like mislead anyone into thinking that this is like an easy job because <sighs> working for yourself in any industry i guess gets easy after a certain point but at the start it's like you're fucking hustling you're constantly learning you've got, got to be constantly open to feedback you've got to be open to failure because failure failure is literally part of the process failure doesn't mean you've actually failed failure just means you've like hit a point where you've been faced with a challenge and it's an opportunity for you to grow and learn something and improve whatever it is that needs improving but having that mindset is like key because if you or if you always look at failure as like oh i failed i need to give up it's not working out it's not for me you're never going to get anywhere and that's just like the harsh truth you have to be open to failure because it's literally part of the path to success i feel like failure needs to be more normalized <laughs> And it's so stigmatized like people are so upset when they fail, but why I don't know how my makeup's looking I don't know if I'm like tan enough to be honest. I have been a little bit all over the place lately like oh Life has been so freaking turbulent like there's just been so much change and so many crazy things happening Like it's been a lot lately to be honest like to handle and I had a major breakdown on Sunday. I've been making so many new friends down here in the Gold Coast, which is so exciting to like meet so many new people. The Gold Coast is such a collaborative area. Like I always see people from like one part of my life and then someone else from a completely other part of my life. And then they're together and like, wait, how do you two know each other? It's just like, that happens all the time in the Gold Coast. Like everyone just knows everyone and you see so many people you know down here and you just get to meet so many people. I think it's just like the energy of the Gold Coast. It's just such a collaborative place. And it's honestly, what I love about it so much like I've been able to meet so many incredible people down here that I never thought I would be in the same room as and had so many incredible opportunities come my way since moving here I honestly would never not be where I am today if I hadn't have moved to the Gold Coast I 100% know that I literally knew like when I was living in Brisbane I had to move to the Gold Coast because I just knew that everything I wanted and the dream life that I wanted would come to me when I moved to the Gold Coast and like in the Gold Coast. So I'm so grateful for myself for actually moving here because otherwise I wouldn't be living this life. I'd be living a totally different one that I probably wouldn't love. Um, but anyway, back on that. <laughs> I've been me making so many new friends down here and meeting so many people. It's like really interesting because I obviously moved away from my hometown. I grew up in Brisbane. All my family and friends were there from high school and whatever. And I kind of just moved to the Gold Coast letting go of that version of me and letting go of, I guess, the people that I was surrounding myself with. Not to say that they were bad people, like they're lovely people, but I just was wanting to call in more people who I guess had similar ambitions to me and people who are very ambitious and people who can hold me accountable and we can kind of like grow together on this journey together um, in like the fields of like I guess self-development, business, entrepreneurship, things like that. And it's fair to say I have some incredible people around me and I'm starting to form some really beautiful friendships which i'm so grateful for <sighs> but it's taken some time like i've been in the gold coast for almost at the end of this month i've been in the gold coast for a year so it's taken that much time to like really get to know people and find people that i click with and people that i want to surround myself with so if you've moved to a new city or you're scared about it just trust me give yourself some time don't put so much pressure on yourself things don't happen usually immediately <laughs> sometimes they do but don't put too much pressure on yourself and give yourself some time to really settle in somewhere because moving somewhere new is can be so terrifying like i was terrified to move to the gold coast like literally like panic attack worthy terrified but now i look back and i'm like it's not even that bad it's not even that big of a deal but in my mind back then because i hadn't never really taken many risks in my life i was like this is the most scariest thing i've ever done but it's definitely made risk taking much easier in other areas of my life now because i can see that i took a huge risk and everything's worked out better than i can imagine so if there's a city you've been thinking about moving to this is your sign to do it there's a reason you're being called to that place you're meant to be there you gotta listen to that intuitive calling sometimes well no all the time my skin's been breaking out a whole lot lately because i have been a little stressed especially with like moving house and everything like that and just like 
like like I said so many changes going on in my life that it almost just like felt so out of my control so I was just stressing so much and my skin was breaking out really really bad because of it I'm kind of nailing this makeup like I feel like my makeup lately is so hit and miss I'm trying to get like a good routine I want to get like a glowy look but I need to go try some new makeup probably not gonna happen with this foundation anyway I'm excited for today I'm filming a bunch of TikToks today because I've kind of neglected neglected my TikTok family lately sorry guys so i'm gonna batch film a whole bunch of content so i have so much ready to go by the way guys the last video i posted was when i went to bali you have no idea how much i think about bali like bali is my roman empire if you know you know <laughs> I think about it like way too much and I always like I walk around the Gold Coast and then something will remind me of it and then I get really sad because I miss Bali and I want to move there but I have two dogs and I too much to try and do but I'm organizing a Bali trip in March 2024 and I'm gonna spend like at least two weeks there and I think I'll just do like a lot of work over there like working holiday not working holiday but like still bring my laptop and work you know what I mean um oh my god guys I have to show you this place okay I have to show you this place we're moving into before I finish this video off, my hair is so much lighter as well. I went and got it last week, so I got another full head of foils. I've had three rounds of a full head of foils to get to this point, because if you remember how dark I was, it's taken a lot of work to get here. It's a little messy at the moment. Okay, it's not the worst. It's not the best. But it will do the job. Okay, before I finish this video off, I have to show you the place we're moving into, because I literally cannot get enough. Like, that's the main living area we've got. We're on, like, level 12. It's so brand new. Like the only people that have lived in there have been there for three months. We literally have an on-site gym, which I'm so excited for. The pool looks like a resort. Like this place is just like my freaking dream. I'm definitely gonna stay tuned because I'm definitely gonna do a moving vlog. I'll give you guys a tour of the new place. I'll show you around. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.